Where the ladies at? <laughs> Cue the music. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping by. So, as you can see by the title of this video, I'm doing something a little bit different today. We're going for a first on the channel and covering my top 10 most complimented perfumes of 2019. Now, I'm fully aware that my current audience is about 97% men, but that's exactly why I'm hoping to branch out a little bit and bring some señoritas to the party. As much as I love men's cologne, of course, I am a female that loves wearing perfume every day while pulling some compliments from time to time. So, to all my lovely male subscribers out there, you know who you are. I would love to show my appreciation for watching this video by giving away a full bottle of Office for Men by Jeremy Fragrance. And of course, I can't leave my ladies out, so I will also be giving away a full bottle of the newest Ariana Grande fragrance called Thank You Next. Make sure to watch until the end of this video for instructions on how to enter, and let's dive into the list. Kicking off the list, I would like to add one honorable mention that I actually acquired only about a week ago. It's Mojave Ghost from Bayredo Parfum. Now, you may be wondering how a fragrance that I've only owned for such a short time makes it on this video, but trust me when I say that I've already received a few compliments with this one. This is a beautiful fruity flora with the unique note of sapodilla fruit, as well as magnolia and violet. It's very bright and airy, but at the same time, it has a depth to it that makes it very alluring. This is currently my favorite favorite fragrance in my collection and I know for a fact that I smell incredible every time I wear it. Although this is just an honorable mention, I have a good feeling that this might be my most complimented fragrance for 2020. At the number 10 spot is one for a woman who's bold, unapologetic and very confident in herself. It's Angel EDP by Mugler. So this is actually a fragrance that I used to own in my college years, and I will admit it didn't receive the best feedback at the time. Definitely a love or hate fragrance right here. This isn't your typical sweet, floral or bubblegummy perfume, but more of an in-your-face powerhouse that packs a very unique punch. Angel is extremely heavy on the note of patchouli, which can come off a bit harsh and even masculine in the opening. But believe me when I tell you that the dry down is where this truly shines. Give it a try if you're looking for a head turner that may not get the most compliments, but would definitely have a big impact for those who do like it. Also, girls, you don't need pepper spray if you have this in your bag. Hiya! Before we move on, I just quickly want to give a shout out to Fragrance.com, which some of you may know as FragranceNet, as they were kind enough to gift me this bottle of Angel, as well as two other fragrances on this list. Spoiler alert! I know most of my male audience already know about this website, but ladies, if you're looking for some of the best prices on a wide variety of fragrances, look no further. I've been using Fragrance.com for a few years now with zero issues, and you can definitely be comfortable in knowing that they sell 100% authentic products. A lot of fragrances that you will see throughout my videos were actually purchased from them because they provide discounts that can sometimes go up to 80% off retail prices. So if you're like me and always on the hunt for great fragrance deals, definitely check them out. I will also leave a discount code in the description box down below in case you decide to buy any fragrance from this video. Back to the list. Coming in at number nine, we have a mouth-watering scent for all you gourmand lovers out there. <coughs> it's Inside Out by The Gate Paris. The first time I actually smelled this one was on my friend Demi Rowling at a fragrance event in New York City, and I knew I had to have it. Ice cream, vanilla, and passion fruit are some of the dominant notes in this one, so it goes without saying that this is an absolutely delicious scent. Some of the compliments I received were, hey, is somebody baking cookies in here? Or, Hmm, you smell like a cake. What are you baking? It's perfect for the holiday season or cooler weather in general and will definitely get great feedback from both men and women. While this is a niche fragrance and a little more on the expensive side, to me, it's very high quality and absolutely worth it. If you don't have the budget for very expensive niche fragrances, don't worry, I got you. The number eight spot is by far the cheapest on this list and a celebrity fragrance. It's Glow After Dark by JLo. This bottle right here is proof that you don't need hundreds of dollars to smell amazing and pull compliments. I've had this in my collection for over 10 years now, 
And till this day, it hasn't failed me. Boozy, fruity, and musky is the best way to describe this one. And it's definitely more on the playful and outgoing side of things. To me, it's a great night out scent and also one to wear when you're looking to give off a more flirty and sexy vibe. The sexiest thing about Glow After Dark, however, is the $22 price point. My number seven spot is a very versatile fragrance that has been a signature scent of mine for many years. It's Chloe EDP by Chloe. So this is one of those fragrances that I've probably burned through about five bottles of. And to be honest, I kind of feel that I've grown out of it by now. Don't get me wrong though, this has served me very well. Chloe is a mass appealing fruity floral with notes of rose, freesia, and lychee. And I don't think it's possible to get a bad reaction from this one. The only downfall with it is that you won't smell unique and it does tend to smell quite synthetic in the opening. However, there's no denying the amount of compliments this has gotten me and I highly recommend it if you're looking for something easy to wear. At the number six spot is one of my favorite fragrances of all time and it's none other than Tom Ford Black Orchid EDP. So this one falls into a similar category to Mugler's Angel because in my opinion, it's another scent that's very unique with a masculine touch that truly makes a statement when you wear it. Some of the main notes in here are patchouli, chocolate, and truffle. And it's a beautifully dark and complex fragrance that I have no problem calling a masterpiece. Black Orchid is definitely a powerhouse that lasts and projects for hours, making it perfect for fall and winter months. I especially love wearing this one for special events or if I'm dressed a little bit more formal and it never fails to make me feel sexy and powerful. Kicking off the top five is a well-loved and truly groundbreaking bestseller that I'm sure all of you already know. It's Mugler's Alien. Girls, what can I say about this one? Mugler knew exactly what he was doing when he released this fragrance. This stuff is literally catnip for both men and women. Now, there are only three notes listed in this one, which are jasmine, amber, and woody notes. But for some reason, this simple composition has stood the test of time and proven to be unique. Is it synthetic? Yes. Is it overly popular and common? Yes. But in my opinion, this should be a staple in any woman's collection. I personally have given quite a few compliments to women who wore this, and of course for me, is a great compliment getter from both men and women. Coming in at number four is another jasmine bomb, which by the way, is one of my favorite notes in perfumery, and it's Pure Poison by Dior. From presentation to the juice itself, Dior always gives off a very elegant and sophisticated feel, and Pure Poison is no exception. To me, this is one of the best jasmine fragrances in the designer world, and it's a major plus that everyone around me loves this one as much as I do. This is a clean and smooth fragrance that I like to wear in more professional environments when I don't want to be too loud. Don't take this one for granted though, because this poison is definitely a men killer. Something about this innocent white floral works amazingly well with men and you can expect to get great compliments. Starting off the top three is another fragrance that I've only recently discovered, but one that I'm now in need of a full bottle. It's Magnetic Blend 7 by Initio Parfum. Shout out to Cam over at Carolina Fragrance Reviews for sending me a sample of this because it's quickly become one of my favorites and surprisingly a huge compliment getter for me. The unique thing about Magnetic 7 is that it only contains the note of musk, which once again is one of my favorite notes in perfume. So what does this smell like? Yep, that's right. It smells like the inside of these pencil cases that we all used to have at school back in the day, and it's the sexiest pencil case I've ever smelled. I don't know what it is about the note of mask, but it just works for me. And I've gotten many compliments from just this sample alone. If that's not enough to tell you that this stuff is the truth, then I don't know what is. My number two spot is a super seductive and surprisingly inexpensive gem from the house of Versace, and it's Versace Crystal Noir. You probably won't be able to see it, but this bottle is almost empty because I simply cannot get enough of this scent. Coconut, gardenia, ginger, and cardamom are some of the main notes, which creates an incredibly sensual and mysterious aura. As the bottle suggests, this is perfect for things like nights out or dates, and you'll definitely have everyone around you wanting to get closer. I've had multiple women asking about this fragrance and wanting to buy it, and equally as many men wanting to know the name of it, either because it smelled amazing to them or because they wanted to get it for their partner. Overall, this is a must if you're looking for a seductive compliment getter with great performance as well. All right, ladies, we've made it to the end of this list, and my most complimented fragrance of 2019 is... 
Narciso Rodriguez for her, ETP. We're talking men stopping me on the streets, the principal of a school I teach at buying it right after smelling it on me, I had to buy this for my sister because she loved it so much, and just recently an Uber driver telling me how amazing I smell. This is a gorgeous musk base scent with added notes of rose and peach, which creates a beautifully airy and silky smooth experience. In my opinion, this will work best for women who are looking to give off a more classy and mature vibe. Now, this definitely isn't what you would classify as your typical compliment getters like La Via Belle or Coco Mademoiselle, but hey, I don't make the rules. The people have spoken and Narciso Rodriguez for her takes the goal for 2019. Conversation time! I would love to hear if you've tried any of the fragrances on this list and also let me know what your most complimented fragrance of 2019 was. Now, in terms of entering the giveaway, you must be subscribed to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up and if you'd like to win the bottle of thank you next, leave a comment down below listing the two perfume notes that I've mentioned as my favorites. To win the bottle of office for men, leave a comment with the name of the fragrance that got me a compliment from an Uber driver. Good luck to you all and thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon! I would love to show my appreciation for watching this video by giving away a full bottle of by giving away a full bottle of 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 of. of. <laughs>